In other news, the Attorney General has begun prosecution of the former GDA boss Abuga Pele and Mr. Philip Asibit, but anti graft and civil society groups want more from government. And joining me on the phone line is Mr. Vitos Azim. He is the Executive Secretary of the Ghana Integrity Initiative. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. Good afternoon. Now, first of all, Mr. Abuga Pele and Philip Asibit have been charged for willfully causing financial loss to the state. Um, what do you make of government's decision to prosecute these individuals? Well, uh, we, alongside other civil society organizations, mm -hmm. have been calling for uh, action sanctions against those individuals that have been inducted in the, mm -hmm. the GIDA uh, investigative report. And so uh, we think this is in the right direction. It will also give the, the accused people the opportunity to defend themselves if they have a case. And so uh, that is what we expect. Mm. And you also did say that um, when the issue of GIDA came up, you did say that President Mahama should ensure that the scandal is logically concluded by showing commitment. Do you think the president has shown that kind of commitment that you were talking about? Uh, I think it's still too early to, mm. to, to, to actually draw that conclusion because I have not seen the Yoko investigative report and what recommendations they have made and whether those that have all been recommended to prosecutor are the only two people or there are others that are going to come, whether this is the end or it's a continuous process. So it is too early for us to draw that conclusion. Mm. But at least it is in the right direction that some action appears to be taking place. Okay, right direction that some action has taken place. But some are also of the opinion that more companies and individuals should be prosecuted. Do you share in this opinion? Well, since it was referred to a, a professional body to investigate, I think that we would need to see the, 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 the findings of that investigative body to draw that conclusion. Mm. We are not just interested in prosecuting people for prosecution's sake. If they are found to have done something wrong, yes, they should be prosecuted. But if the investigative body has found out that there's nothing wrong, uh, it's, it's, I think it's too, it, it would not be proper to just draw that everybody that has been mentioned should be investigated, I mean, should be prosecuted, because otherwise there was no need for another investigation. So let's just wait and see whether a fuller report will be released to the public. Remember that the president instructed the Yoko to make their findings public. Mm. And so we are hoping that we'll see the findings and know the justifications for prosecuting some and not prosecuting others. Mm. When we have seen, we can draw conclusions as to whether there's need for other people to be brought in or not. Mm. Now let's talk about the Attorney General's Department. As an anti-corruption campaigner, do you think they have done well in investigating the case? Some are of the opinion that so far as they did wait for the president to give them instructions to do this investigation before carrying out this investigation, they have failed. What do you think? Well, the Attorney General's Department is a organ. And that's why some of us have been arguing that they need to separate the Attorney General Department from the Ministry of uh, uh, Justice. And once it remains the political organ, sometimes it has to wait for the President to give the ratings. Of course, it could have been proactive and taken up the matters itself. But where there are high-profile cases, most times they are compelled to wait for some further instructions. And that's why we think that the two should be separated to give them more freedom, more independence to decide what to investigate and what not to investigate, what to prosecute and what not to prosecute. But for now, they have probably acted within their mandate, and we might not be able to take them on for that. Thank you very much for your time. I've been speaking with Mr. Vitos Azim. He is the Executive Secretary of the Ghana Integrity Initiative. You're still watching Midday Live on TV3. You